Have you ever been so tired that your eye bags hurt? <laughs> That's how tired I feel today. Like, my eyes, like, really hurt. I should have bought my glasses, because I'm in the office today. I'm, like, staring at a computer screen, and it's gonna give me such a headache, I just know it. Maybe I will wear my sunglasses. Oh, they, it just hurts so bad. I really haven't been sleeping great at all recently. Welcome to weekly vlog 33. May the week begin. My battery is flashing, great start. I can't believe it's Sunday again already. Last week went so quickly. Did anyone else feel like that? You sat on the printer, it's probably, you can probably hear it whirring away. <laughs> I was treated to a lovely Starbucks this morning. This is the peach green iced tea. This is probably one of my favorite things from Starbucks. Mm. I love it. If you're ever thirsty and you like really, really want a drink and you're near a Starbucks, get the peach iced tea. It's so good. So my morning is started like that and I have porridge for breakfast and then I've got um, Heinz sausage and baked beans on toast for lunch. I'm very excited about that. And then for dinner, I've got a roast dinner. So today is a good food day. Good food day. And I'm excited to eat it all. <laughs> As you can tell, all I'm thinking about today is food. But before I can eat any of that food, I must do some work. Yes! Although there is very few beans in this tin. Normally it like covers. Oh well. Yummy! Good morning. I'm about to go wash my car because it really needs washing and they're gonna wanna look at it, at Minnie, and I'm like, I can't take it with it looking like that. They're gonna be like, uh, no. Hey, kitty. So I'm gonna wash it, and I've possibly never looked so fashionable in my life. Oh yeah. Wallet boots, leggings. This is a man's t-shirt that I've got on. I got Dan, but it was too small. And then my top man hoodie. Yeah. Best I've probably ever looked, let's be honest. Is this not the best you've ever seen me look? <laughs> Car washed, oil changed, windows green wash thing changed, ready to go. The car was washed inside and out as well. I always do this, I don't know why, whenever I take the car to me, I always wash it, because I'm just like, I don't want them to think I'm a bad car owner. <laughs> I now really need to go have a shower and sort this out. And I feel like me again. <laughs> I need to make some lunch because I haven't eaten anything. This is like a little routine, I never eat anything for lunch. It's ten past one, I need to leave at like half two to go to Mini. Oh, if I haven't said anything, basically, if you haven't watched last week's vlog, I'm looking to get another Mini, but cheaper, like cheaper monthly. So I found one that I really liked and called them up and it had been sold. And I was like, I'll keep looking if you find another one that's like the same sort of thing, like let me know. And I got an email on Saturday and they've got another one coming in today so i'm going in this afternoon to go and have a look at that one so it's an exciting day which is why i washed my car by the way also my cheeks are so red i have no blush on i'm not even joking my cheeks are so red so yeah that's what i'm doing this afternoon but the car's not going to get there till about three so i'm going to leave it about half two so it takes about 40 minutes 45 minutes to get i can't believe how red my face looks to get there so yeah but back to the whole food thing. I've never been a fan of bananas <laughs> to the point where I really don't like them. Like if someone's eating a banana in the room, I have to leave. The smell, I just don't like bananas, <laughs> basically. Like, but I can eat like banana cake and banana loaf and stuff. So I really wanna try banana pancakes. So I think, because I'm working tomorrow and tomorrow is pancake day, I can't really make pancakes until the evening tomorrow. So I've decided to try and make the banana pancakes, because literally the ingredients is a banana and an egg. That's literally it, and you mix it together and you make a pancake. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and make those today. So I'll let you know how it goes. I'll show them when I've made them. And I'll let you know if I like them, because I might hate them. <laughs> there was so much of a fail that I'm not even gonna show you them and they've gone straight in the bin, and I made one successfully and it, I did not like it. Nope. Never again will I try and make banana pancakes. Um, also, I've just got an email from Minnie and they're just waiting for the car to come in and he's going to call me when it's there. So I'm going to have a little tidy up and yeah, just wait for my phone to ring basically. Guys, do you remember when we all went out for dinner and Chris had that weird twitch in his thumb? I've got it. It's so weird.
It's so bizarre. If I bend my thumb, it just shakes. <laughs> no new car. Um, the cheapest we could get it to was like a pound cheaper than what I'm already paying. So it's completely pointless in doing that. So yeah, so with the pound that I would have saved a month, I bought some of these when I filled it with petrol. It's a mini cream eggs. My first cream egg. No, it's not. My second cream egg of the year. I prefer the mini ones actually. I'm not a massive chocolate fan and the bigger ones have too much chocolate for me. I would say at least my car is clean but it absolutely poured it down on my drive home so it's now not even clean. <laughs> so it's a complete pointless. I spent an hour and a half cleaning that car this morning for no reason. Oh well. One day I will own a black mini with cream leather interior but this day is not that day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wallowing in self pity from not getting the car. So Chris mentioned that he was coming to Burger King, so I came to Yum. Yes. Anyway. What's up? I feel that bit. <laughs> you got me to a belt there. <laughs> you were just too tall. Sorry. I slouch. Ow. Oh, and now my legs go between Kieran's, that's not good. Oh. <laughs> that's not good. That's I can get in shot, but I have to knee Kieran in the nuts to do so. <laughs> in a second to digest his bacon. <laughs> Is that really what life has become? <laughs> it's not even nice, is it? Who else is really excited for Broadchurch? Me! I live such an exciting life. I must have used some muscles I haven't used in a very long time when I wash my car because the top of my back right now really hurts. Like, all of a sudden my muscles in the top of my back have started to really hurt. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm quite enjoying the pain because I really miss the pain that I used to get after I danced. It was a good pain and that's what I've got in the top of my back and I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> I really wanna get back into dance this year. I don't know how and I don't know when and I don't know where but I really do. Here they are now. Seriously, I'm not even joking. If you wanna do an upper back and upper arm workout, just wash your car. Oh my goodness, my back hurts today. Like, whew. the only good thing is, I feel like I have good posture today because my back muscles are so tight. <laughs> also, tell me I'm not the only one that has like a holy pair of tights in their cupboard and it's always the pair of tights that they end up picking up and I just never throw them out but it's the kind of hole that like doesn't ladder does that make any sense? so you can't see the holes so therefore I always forget to throw them out because they're not annoying to wear if that makes any sense at all let's go to work isn't it meant to be the first day of spring tomorrow? why am I de-icing my car? come on spring! <laughs> I don't want to wear a coat anymore. Guys, my back is getting worse. I'm going to have to have like a really hot bath tonight when I get home because whew, it hurts. And also, day two is normally worse than the first day, so suffering. Also, I just relived my childhood because I had a cheese string for lunch. Thumbs up this video if you used to get cheese string in your lunch boxes at school. I've only got um, lemon and sugar on mine though because mum forgot that it was pancake day and so we have nothing in the house for pancakes. Devastated. I've been looking forward to pancakes all day. But lemon and sugar is usually what I go for anyway. What is your pancake topping? Guys, I didn't have a bath because I got distracted by YouTube and now it's too late and it's going to be one of my biggest regrets tomorrow morning when I can't move because of my back. Morning. I'm super early into work. I thought I was going to be really late. Mm, tired eyes. Um, because the one day that I decided to like snooze my alarm in the morning when on shower day. Normally on shower day I get straight up I don't snooze. Someone else went in the shower and I was like I legged it out of my bed. I was like how long are you going to be? I'm already 10 minutes late. But I have made it in early. There was no traffic and my bus was on time. And now I'm here like 10 minutes early. So yeah. Just going to make a cup of tea and just chill for 10 minutes before everyone else arrives. Hello, it's Thursday and it's actually like 20 past five and I've come into Tesco's because I've been craving pizza all day. 
So I've picked up some pizza. Also, Easter eggs were on like buy two, get two free. So I've picked up four Easter eggs. And I've ended up in the clothing section because I am weak. I'm very weak and there's a sale on, but there's nothing that I really like. It's very annoying. But I thought I'd have a little one and have a look. But yeah, the pizza that I've got is a spinach and ricotta one. It's what I've been craving all day. I'm very much looking forward to having that for dinner. I bought some jeans, but I can take them back if I don't like them. But I've been looking for some mum jeans for ages. They're not mum jeans, but they're the same sort of cut. But they're really similar to some that I've seen in Tes at Tesco's. I'm in Tesco's. In Topshop that I really like and that I've wanted for a really long time. And these were only £22. So if they fit, like win. Because the ones in Topshop are 65 So, yeah. I'm going to go home and try those on. Although... I got them in a six, but I might need an eight, but I'm not really sure because they're high-waisted and high-waisted eights are normally too big because like my waist's really small. So my waist is like a six, but my hips and bum are like an eight slash ten. Okay, ten's an exaggeration. Like an, an eight, an eight. So they might not fit. Also, they might not fit after I've eaten all these Easter eggs that I've just purchased. Four Easter eggs, people. I'm so weak. I <laughs> can't say no to chocolate. Oh, I'm going to share them. I'm not going to have them all to myself, I promise. The jeans fit, but they're not high-waisted enough for me. Um, they sit like just below my belly button, which for me is like my podgy bit, and it like cut, it looks awful. So they're going back, but at least I tried. I tried to save money, but I thought I'd show you what Easter eggs I picked up. These are like my four favourites. I have picked up the cream egg one, and a Kit Kat Chunky, because I love Kit Kat Chunkies. Rolos, because Rolos remind me of my granddad, because whenever we used to go around to my granddad's house, he would have like two packets of Rolos on the side of the armchair where my mum used to sit for me and my brother um, and then he started to give me um, Milky Bars um, which is I think why white chocolate is one of my favourite chocolates but they always remind me of my granddad and then I've got Daniel a Freddo one because he loves Freddos and yeah but I'm having an ear, I've got home and I've like, I don't know if it's just because I tried those jeans on and they just weren't flattering at all but I'm having a frumpy day and it's just like, I really want to start going to the gym or to get better with my fitness and stuff, my health. But I just don't have the confidence. So if anyone out there is watching that knows me and is near me and either goes to the gym, is good at fitness, wants to go to the gym or anything like that, please contact me because I need a gym buddy because I have no confidence to go to the gym on my own at all. I have no motivation for it. I'm awful at like setting myself out plans if i'm at home i'm lazy like there's just no way i'm gonna do anything if i'm at home i'm looking into getting a like fold up treadmill for home so i can start doing some running at home um because i did try and start running outside <laughs> um in the summer but my knees just didn't deal very well with it and my ankles if you don't know i've got arthritis in my ankles my knees my elbows my jaw um, and some of my fingers so fitness is hard for me but inside fitness I can do I think it was just the jolting of like the joints of my ankles and my knees from the running outside that really wasn't good but I used to run on treadmills and I was fine so looking into getting one of those but yeah like I said if anyone that knows me lives near me or whatever goes to the gym wants to go to the gym wants a gym buddy knows fitness can help me please contact me because I just don't want to look like this anymore when I danced I had like such a good toned body and I was so happy with how I looked and then when I got diagnosed I literally just stopped everything and like that's really starting to show now <laughs> and I'm not happy I'm really not happy with how I look at the minute like at all <sighs> and on that note I'm gonna go eat a pizza and have an easter egg because in this current moment it will make me feel better see I need your help. <laughs> Just realised I never actually showed you the jeans. These are the jeans I got from Tesco's. So they're like, they were £22. I got me in six regular. They fit perfectly, like I said. They just weren't quite like high waisted enough for me. But the embroidery is so pretty. And then they're kind of like a mum jean, but a bit more like, well, they're a straight leg basically. With the rips in the lay, knees and stuff. But they were so nice. But yeah, just didn't fit how I wanted them to fit. So they gotta go back. Good morning. It's Friday. I'm working all weekend. What is new? What is new? Um, even though I said I was going to have bad skin today, I've actually got really good skin. I used eye cream last night because I've been getting such bad, like, tired eyes, as I call them, like, bags under my eyes, which I don't normally get. 
and the eye cream has kind of worked I feel we need good light so you can actually see properly they're still kind of there but way better than they have been let's be honest I'm ready super early for work today and I would leave early but I'm picking Rachel up this morning and I feel mean if I text her now and I'm like I'm leaving now and she's like ah uh, that's early so I might leave anyway and go to the cash point because I need to get some cash out oh it's raining that's miserable always rains when my hair goes nice maybe I have to wear my coat with the hood today and just not look nice because <laughs> there isn't a nice coat I don't think anyway I need to get like a nice a nice coat nice raincoat if that makes sense evening uh today was one of those days when I got home and was just like oh, you just get like that relaxed feeling that you're home and yeah just I wanted to be at home today it's just where I wanted to be and <laughs> um, I've just watched um Rosie so from Rosanna Pierce her Primark haul and now I really want to go to Primark and I can't because I'm on a spending ban it's all your fault Rosie that I now want to go to Primark I must resist my only godsend is that it's quite a walk well <laughs> I say it's quite a walk it's really not it's like a five minute walk from work and I know I'm just not going to be bothered to walk it so that is the only reason I will not be going to Primark because I can't be bothered to walk there I've got some more daffodils they're so pretty, they're so pretty. The only thing with daffodils is they kind of really smell and the smell kind of reminds me a bit of cat wee. So when I walk into my room, I'm like, I'm not sure on how my room now smells. Hmm, I need to get some more candles because the candle that I used to burn, this one, has now run out. And so I need another one to burn to get rid of my cat wee smell from my daffodils because they really do stink, they really smell. They look pretty, but they really smell. <laughs> I'm 100% not ashamed to say that I just put another Easter egg in the fridge and I am gonna eat it tonight. I am, I just am. I'm, I, I don't care. <laughs> put the Kit Kat Chunky one in there and I'm gonna take the Kit Kat Chunky that came in it to work tomorrow for lunch. I'm just going to make the most of Easter, I think, and eat as much chocolate as I can, because after Easter, I don't think I'm going to eat um, chocolate. To it, I, it's just weird. Like, I don't really like chocolate, but at Easter, all I want is chocolate Easter eggs. Like, that I think Easter egg chocolate is the best chocolate. Like, really thin chocolate from the fridge, and you get, like, snap when you eat it. Mm. It's so good. It's my favourite. And I think pretty much Easter is the only time I really do eat chocolate. I mean, obviously I eat chocolate, but I would much rather reach for like a gummy sweet than chocolate. It's like the gummy strawberries. I really love those. Percy pigs are like one of my favourite sweets. So I really like gummy sweets. Oh my goodness me. Did you just hear that dog? Oh, that's not a happy doggy. Doggy drama outside. <laughs> laptop to work again today so I can start editing early because that worked really well last week and I finished like editing quite quickly it's because there's no distractions excuse me um that would be the grapefruit and grapefruit no grape and elderflower drink that I've just got from Pret. I really wanted a crisp sandwich but I also really wanted a tuna sandwich so I went and got like their mini tuna baguette ate the cucumber and added salt and vinegar crisp or salt and vinegar wow failed today really salted crisps to it so good so good and also I've split my lunch so I'm doing half an hour now half an hour later so later I'm gonna have a cup of tea and a Kit Kat chunky so success I've come home and got straight in my dressing gown because I'm freezing so cold but I've got one of my favorite dinners I've got jack of potato beans cheese and tuna one of my faves that's one of my comfort food meals like it just makes me feel all nice and happy <laughs> and I'm just gonna eat that while I continue doing some editing and I've pretty much finished the vlog to be honest. Not much more to do, which is always fun, and I can have a chilled Saturday evening. Done! And it's only quarter past eight, so I've got the whole evening ahead of me, and I'm really craving a bowl of cereal, so that's what I'm gonna have while I upload the video. 
Also, if you see my little red spot on the end of my nose. <laughs> they always take forever to go when they're on the end of my nose as well. Yeah. Oh, we hit 1,400 subscribers this week, by the way. So thank you so much if you have subscribed. Thank you and hello if you are a new subscriber. Um, let me know in the comments down below how you found my channel and like who introduced you to me or whatever. I'd love to know how you found me. Also, I need to keep my excitement down because... Daniel and I have been saving to move out for a little while and we're almost there and there's a few places that we really really like and he's going to call up tomorrow to see if we can go and view them and I need to try and like keep myself calm because if we either can't afford them or we don't like them or whatever I don't want to be like really disheartened so I'm trying to keep myself like chilled because I'm not, I don't even know, like, two of them haven't even got deposits or anything on them, so I don't know how much the deposit is or anything like that, so we've got a certain amount saved, and we just have to see what happens, but they are, there's three, well, I've sent him three to ask about, but there's definitely two that hopefully we'll be looking at, hopefully, hopefully. One's a house and two are apartments, so we'll see. We will think, we'll think. You might not hear anything else about this, uh, or it might be all I go on about. You never know. But I will leave you to your Sundays. I hope you have had a wonderful week. I hope you have a wonderful week planned ahead. Let me know if you've got anything exciting planned for your for your week ahead. I would love to know. Um, again, thank you so much if you're a new subscriber. If you're an old subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with me. I really hope you're enjoying the weekly vlogs. I'm seriously loving doing weekly vlogs. I can't see myself stopping doing these for a very, very long time. And I would quite like to do like more daily ones, but my life just isn't quite exciting enough to do that just yet. But maybe one day, you never know. But yeah, if you're not subscribed, then go and subscribe, click my little face, I'll pop it here, click there and you'll be subscribed, click down here, there's another video there, I'm getting all technical now and I, click down there, watch another video and yeah, there is a video going up tonight which is my everyday makeup, I have a little chin wag with you all while I do it, um, so I hope you will enjoy that video as well and yeah, put the video a little like, subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you next week.